This is Go MMT Radio. Go MMT Radio. Let's go. Powered by Make My Trip, Go Ibibo, and Red Bus. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Go MMT Radio. My name is Sonu. Today we are going to be on our show. Someone really cool, one of the Go Trippers. In fact, uh, fame game hai hamare segment ka naam. This is the second uh, time we are having this segment on the show. And yaha pe we feature the Go Trippers who are way too cool. Kuch zada hi talented log hai. So you can actually let us know if you are one among them. You can send us an email. Headset go at go hyphen mmt dot com. Today is Thursday, 21st of July. And aaj, fun o'clock mein, चार से पाँच बजे के बीच में प्रेप अप फैशन स्टाइलिंग वर्कशॉप होने वाला है एंड दोज ऑफ यू हु आर स्टिल वंडरिंग ये क्या वर्कशॉप है अरे भाई ट्वेंटी सेकेंड को यानी कि कल ही वी हैव द टाउन हॉल मीट एंड दिस इज ऑल अ रन अप टू दैट वी हैव गॉट अमेजिंग थिंग्स लाइंड अप फॉर यू टू मोरो एंड दिस इज हैपनिंग एट ए डॉट ऑम्बियंस आईलैंड गुड़गांव पार्किंग अवेलेबल है एंड रिटर्न कैब्स फॉर All the lovely ladies leaving after 8 p.m. will be provided. Dress code is going to be red and black with a hint of shimmer. About which you will know today at 5 o'clock. Uh, this is happening between 4 to 5 in the Gurgaon office. There's going to be lot of things that are going to happen at the town hall meet. Apart from the awards, of course, there are going to be annual award winners and ring of honor awards. Will be announced. It starts by 3:30 p.m. So be there on time. And Jesse. हमने हमारे शो को टाइम पे शुरू किया है uh, वैसे ही आप भी टाइम पे पहुंच जाएं एंड देन यस वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द शो वी गोइंग टू हैव विनीत विद अस इन अ लिटिल वाइल फ्रॉम नाउ एज अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर सेगमेंट फेम गेम डोंट गो एनीवेयर सुनते रहिए गो एम रेडियो माय नेम इज सोनू अप नेक्स्ट वी हैव अ परफॉर्मेंस बाय अमनदीप सिंह डेप्यूटी मैनेजर फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंट्स एंड ही इज बेस्ड आउट ऑफ गुड़गांव सो ओवर टू हिम अरे अभी अभी प्यारा सा चेहरा दिखा है ओ जाने क्या कहू उस पे क्या लिखा है गहरा समंदर दिल डूबा जिसमें घायल हुआ मैं इस पल से उसमें नैणा दा क्या कसूर वे कसूर वे कसूर नैणा दा क्या कसूर वे कसूर वे कसूर नैणा दा क्या कसूर वे कसूर वे कसूर ए दिल तू बता दे नैणा दा क्या कसूर वे कसूर वे कसूर नैणा दा क्या कसूर वे कसूर वे कसूर नैणा दा क्या कसूर वे कसूर वे कसूर ए दिल तू बता दे Hello Go Trippers I'm Rajesh Mago and you're listening to Go MMD Radio Headset Go The Fame Game This is the second episode of Fame Game and my name is Sonu and keeping me company today is uh, Vineet Cherian who is a software engineer and he is based out of Bangalore Vineet hi welcome to the show welcome to Go MMT Radio Hi thank you for inviting me Um so how is it going for you so far That's a very uh, works all right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what exactly do I say? My work is all right. Uh, this is my first company. It's been two years. Uh huh. Actually, exactly two years last week. So uh, that is one achievement, I suppose. And yes, it is. That, yes, it is. Congratulations on that. And uh, Fame Game is basically uh, a platform where we introduce the really uber cool, talented uh, Go Trippers to the rest of the Go Trippers. So you are on the second episode. So I think uh, two years into. Go MMT and uh, being a part of Fame Game, I think that speaks a lot about what you've been doing. But uh, tell me, Vinny, uh, tell all the Go Trippers a bit about yourself. Like you know, um, what is it that brings you here on Fame Game? I mean, in your own words, I am an uber cool person. So no, I had to just say uh, that. that <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> right. Do I talk about what I do? Yes you should because you are a software engineer but I'm pretty sure since you are on this uh, uh you know show there is more to you than being a software engineer okay so by the day I am a front end developer for Trip Ideas section of the mobile app 
Uh-huh. But after my job, <laughs> I am an improv artist. I wow. live stream improv games on my YouTube channel. I make improv related clips and sometimes I make comedy clips of myself. What made you take up content creation? Was it the pandemic or you always wanted to do it? Somewhere I always wanted to do it. Uh, I don't know how the desire to create content came up, but I would generally be a very like jolly person making jokes out of everything mm-hmm. i suppose that nature slipped into the internet and then yeah. uh, you know i would do very small scale meme posting and mm-hmm. you know just to keep myself happy and that is the first thing that i do uh, i post whatever i find funny right and i make these things myself and what are the it things just that to be you that find- and what are the things that you find funny i can make fun of anything <laughs> even sensitive topics like uh, my humor probably has no bounds that is very nice to know but you have to be a little bit careful uh, for sure <laughs> and uh, mostly what language do you make your content in i usually speak in english sometimes a mix of hindi so mm-hmm. that's my primary yeah very cool very cool uh, you know and if people want to look up uh, and see what kind of content you make how can they look for you you can search for my name on youtube vinit jaycerian you will find the one and only and on instagram it's vinit jc that spells w i n i t underscore jc it's All a right. pun on my name yeah 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 oh god uh, oh, i think most of us got that but yeah uh, thank you so much uh, for sharing your uh, Uh, you know instagram handle so all of you who feel that you know uh, hey vinik this is quite funny and i want to see what he does you can uh, check him out on instagram and youtube sure. vinik tell me who are your favorite content creators tricky question because the truth is i don't watch a lot of content creators myself mm-hmm. i usually spend time thinking of what to make but if okay. i have to name some i would name some of the really you know veteran legendary stand up comedians rather i watch them right. more than the you know the re- more recent tiktok instagramish content is not yes. something i watch yes yes and who would they be so uh, let's list out some names some of my favorite comedians are dave chapel uh, steve harvey mm-hmm. uh, from the improv side colin mockery and ryan of style uh, yes. they are from the famous whose line is it anyway show yes. and yes uh, one of my inspirations to start improv from college and do my own shows was because of those two mhm mhm uh vinny you told me that you live stream improv games now for those of you who don't exactly know what improv is could you just explain it to them okay put it very simply uh so no you watch tv shows in your free time mm yes and so the thing about tv shows is they're you know very well planned they have scripts they have set locations uh improv is doing the same thing without a script or having that set location so we perform a scene and we come up with this we come up with the script on the spot basically right so it's basically like life everything is impromptu everything is impromptu spontaneous yes yes and yes that's amazing and uh, if i could play an improv game with you could we do that uh, virtually Just can we do it right now? We can. We can, right? I mean, this is an audio medium, so yes, we do have limitations, and uh, that's going to happen. Over to you, Vinit. You tell me what I'm supposed to do now. Awesome. So, uh, the one game that I suggest anybody to play to get into improv is, uh, since improv is all about storytelling on the spot, we are right. going to make a story on the spot. So, no, are right. you ready? Yes, I am ready. Cool. Awesome and this is how it goes it's called story by lines it's a very simple game we go one after the other saying mm-hmm. one line one after the other and we narrate a story together okay superb all right let's do this the catch is even you can end the story whenever you find that ending or i can end the story whenever i find the ending uh, keep it very simple don't you don't have to add like a thousand details and this is not mm-hmm. a novel absolutely it's, it's done a simple story by line so would you like to start Mm, sure. Long time ago, there was a boy named Sham. Sham was just a fourth grader, and all he would do is go to school and come back home at five p.m. But Sham was scared of apples. The reason why he's scared of apples is because his teacher said an apple a day keeps the doctor away, and that saying just gave him some trauma. 
that was also because his parents were doctors as you can see this line that the teacher told it was very personal <laughs> that even he couldn't eat apples is that how, is that's how far it went so one fine day sham decided to fight his fear for apples he decided that one day instead of returning back home at 5 pm he would spend an extra 2 hours going to the grocery store and exposing himself to the vegetables and the apples much to his horror he found not just one but seven varieties of apples in the grocery store he just stood there in the middle of all the apples for at least 5 minutes trying to absorb the fear he bent over and took a piece of apple and started speaking to it surprisingly the apple spoke back <laughs> i think it's the most weirdest story ever but it was the fun. apple asked why are you scared of me <laughs> sham replied i think it's a lot to do with what you do to my parents oh okay so the doctors just you know i mean the doctors really want you to come but you know don't worry about it i am very safe i am safer than a doctor trust me and then apple and sham became best friends sham always had an apple on the way to school and sham was also the apple of his parents eye talk about a happy ending <laughs> the end <laughs> how cool how cool we finally uh, started a story i think i think this for, this has a potential to be made into a film i genuinely feel so a 1 minute animated short yeah that'll be really would be much better <laughs> i know i know but thank you so much uh, vinit it was so much fun talking to you and uh, i hope uh, you continue uh, with what you're doing and uh, yeah i mean you know may you get lots of subscribers lots of views and uh, uh, lots of motivation to keep continuing doing what you're doing fingers crossed but more importantly i hope you enjoyed the apple story and imagining <laughs> sham and the apple It's not going to leave me for the rest of my life and also I <laughs> perform improv so it kind of is fun obviously. Uh so yeah it was great talking to you Vinith and uh, have a great day ahead. You too have a great day. This entire month we have been celebrating Plastic Free July and now that we are almost towards the end of the show there are a couple of tips that we are giving you in every episode on what can you do to reduce the usage of plastic uh, we spoke about carrying a cloth bag avoiding single use plastic such as drinking straw uh, buy more bulk food and lesser packaged foods and also when hanging out uh, washing uh, use wooden pegs instead of plastic one jab aap kapde sukhate hain wo sukhane ke liye aap uh, plastic ki jagah wooden pegs istemal kare it has a positive impact on our planet uh, also Uh, pay attention and put your plastic waste in the correct recycling container that is very very important hamari lifestyle ki wajah se hum you know attention to detail dena bhool jate hain therefore when it comes to recycling plastic waste it can end up in wrong container so before throwing your waste hamesha check kare ki kaun se container mein aapko waste throw karna hai with that it's a wrap on today's show until we meet next time stay healthy stay safe and keep smiling this is me sonu signing off UK Karan is going to join us in a little while he is the manager uh, for user experience department in Gurgaon and let's see what he has got in store for us Suno na sange mar mar kiye menare kuch bhi Hello Go Trippers this is Ranveer Singh and you are listening to Go MMT Radio head set go
To listen to your favorite Go MMT radio from anywhere, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Visit the Go MMT radio page for daily updates and enjoy listening to your favorite radio channel.